Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Um, in the last episode, we beat level 1-7 and got the Chomper, but um, I actually did something different here. I was playing on an old version of the game because I was going to show you uh, one of the zombies that's been soon since patched out, but I decided something more important was that was left out of my version was uh, the achievements in the Zombitar was something I wanted to show you guys. So I went ahead and updated, got the full version off Steam here. So now we have access to the Zombitar achievements. So I replayed through the adventure and I did get uh, the part I was at and I got one achievement in the meantime, which was um, Spadow, blow up a zombie using a potato mine, which we did get naturally. So these are all the achievements. Um, Nobel Peace Prize, get the Golden Sunflower Trophy. Uh, uh, Explodinator, take out 10 zombies with a cherry bomb. Um, just a lot of interesting ones like this. I believe there are some... Uh, I believe there are some hidden ones, but not really. Anyway, if I, you can keep scrolling down here past this. You'll notice there's like some funny worm things here. And if you keep scrolling down, it has a diamond right here. If you just keep scrolling down, eventually... What do we got there? A unicorn dinosaur. Pipe hell is this oh these are from these are items from the pop caps other game zuma's revenge pretty funny if you keep scrolling eventually you'll reach this you know you dig through the earth and you'll find china so here's china zombies they've got fucking buckets on their head and stuff like that uh, there's actually supposed to be an achievement for that i'm not sure if it shows on here or not but we'll see uh towering wisdom Rounded. I don't see it. That used to be an achievement, at least. Doesn't look like it is anymore. Anyway, I'm going to show you the Zombitar here, too. Uh, choose your zombie skin color. We can make him any color we want. Uh, let's go for, like, a red zombie. You can't even tell the difference in these colors, really. Actually, that, like, green Hulk one. Hair? What hair should we give him? <laughs> the comb over. Oh man, the blown out afro. Let's give him the comb over. Let's give him purple hair, comb over, facial hair. Gotta have the facial hair. Man, look at all this stuff. <laughs> wow, this is funny. Uh, let's give him the blue mustache too, tidbits. Oh, that's interesting. Ha! <laughs> the Mike Tyson tattoo, the teardrop. That's pretty hilarious. I like the worm eye though, let's do that. Eyewear. I mean, there's no real point if he's going to be wearing the... Oh wow, look at those stunner glasses. Let's do the eye patch on the one eye. The monocle. We'll do that. Clothes. Let's see. Oh my god, Kermit the Frog. That's hilarious. Mummy. Let's do the Kermit the Frog. That's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Dude, these things are ridiculous. Earrings, gold teeth, oh my god. You can't give him multiple, that's what sucks. Ugh. I'm thinking either the gold teeth or the gold chain. I'm gonna go with the gold chain. Uh, hats. That would really kind of destroy the purpose, but... Wow. Sombrero. Oh my god. This shit is ridiculous. Um, let's give him the Joker one. In green. Backdrops. Um, sure, let's give him that one. Boom! That's our Zombitar. We are finished. Your desktop has a JPG image file. Great. That's my new Zombitar. Alright, 
So he will also come out as a flag zombie, as you saw in the preview in the little red corner there. So that's Zombitar. Anyway, let's get back to the adventure. <laughs> I am playing this in full screen now. The only disadvantage is I can't see what time I'm at. I should have checked. That probably took like four minutes, 10 o'clock, so. Anyway, as you can see, we now have six slots and seven plants. So finally, we're going to be able to give get this choose your plant screen. We'll now get this at the beginning of every level. The advantage is now you can see the zombies on the other side here without being rushed to the lawn. So as you can see, we do have a new zombie, a buckethead zombie. They are similar to coneheads, except they take even more hits. I believe it's like 40 hits, probably almost 30 to kill the bucket. They take an immense amount of hits. So for them alone, you're going to want an emergency plant like a potato mine or a chomper to kill them or a cherry bomb. Anyway, we're going to go, uh, we're going to use every plant here except one. So I'm going to say, uh, mm, we'll probably, no, the snow pea would be useful. We'll just pass on everything except, we'll choose everything except for the snow bomb. I want to show you a cool little setup here with, uh, actually, no, we'll pass on the snow pea. I'm going to show you a nice little setup here with chompers. I was going to go with snow peas and chompers, but that's an extremely high maintenance setup. Because 175 and 150 for each pair of offense. I mean, of course, you can just run the potato mines for a while, so it wouldn't really be that bad. But, uh... Yeah, we're going to need some quick offense as well. So instead, we'll just go with uh, pea shooters and chompers. Now, a really good combination of zombies or plants a really good combo is walnut chomper and i will show you why because what you can do is you can set up a scenario where you put a walnut out here and a chomper behind it now when the zombies get to the walnut they obviously won't get through it for a while so your chomper will be safe and you can just chomp them up and then while he's chewing in the meantime uh, the walnut will protect them long enough until he's done chewing and then he can resume eating the zombie, so a very effective combo. You can use it throughout pretty much the whole game. Let's just get our two rows of sunflowers here. I might just start doing ones on certain one on certain levels, but now that we have the potato mine, no reason not to go for two. It's so weird playing this in full screen now. I was playing in windowed mode before. Okay, let's start getting our offense out here. Just gonna wait to see which row the zombie showed up on. I think I'll do uh, one row of pea shooters. Uh, and then chompers and walnuts should be good enough. Just to show them. Uh, these guys do recharge pretty slow, so let's go ahead and get them out there. And so do the walnuts. So you're just gonna wanna do it like this. And uh, I'll let him get there and you can see how it works. How the chompers work at least. Get ready for another chomper. Well, the chompers actually recharge very fast. That's good. Good to know. And as soon as he gets within one row of one square of him, as soon as he gets in the squares, the walnut, boom, he'll eat the zombie hole. Doesn't matter if it's a cone head, bucket head, anything. They will get eaten. But as you can see now, he's a. Uh, He's chewing, so while he's in this phase, he can be eaten and he can't kill any of the zombies that are in front of him. So that's why we have the walnut in front of him. To protect him in such a case. So we got a bucket head here. Definitely want to get a chomper out. Because as this bucket will go through about three stages of visual damage that you'll notice before it uh, starts moving. I just love that sound. It makes do ting, ting. And yeah, it will... take a lot of damage way more like almost double of a cone head you'd probably imagine I think something like that buckethead zombies will give you problems all the way till the end of the game man you'll just never get something that you the firepower you get will never be enough to just destroy a buckethead super quick unless you use combinations of plants you know what I mean okay so now that we have an excess of Sun and we have all our chompers out what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig, start digging up our sunflowers here and put in another row of pea shooters because we're not gonna need a full thing of sunflowers. And a walnut's taking its sweet and time to recharge, but that's fine. We gotta, we 
got a thing there. Got a walnut. A nut wall. Yeah, the walnuts are very useful and very cheap, so they're going to take a long time to recharge. Like I said, the usefulness of the plant usually dictates how uh, long it'll take to charge. Why did it start back up at the bottom? Oh, I put him back here. I'm an idiot. I meant to put the pea shooter there. What a dipshit. And look, there's our flag zombie. He's not wearing the Kermit outfit. That's just for the JPEG, but uh, he's got all his swag on. It's pretty funny. But then when his head pops off, he's just a normal zombie. It's unfortunate. Oh, man. This is the only guy still eating one right here, so we should be okay. I think these pea shooters can take out both of these guys. Took out that cone head pretty fast. And if we want, we could put some like potato mines out in front here. We could put some more chompers if we really wanted to. But these are the last few zombies. Might as well just let them die. Got him. And the repeater, one of the most useful plants in the game, we'll use it throughout the whole thing. And this was the plant I was talking about that totally uh, makes the pea shooter irrelevant. It's the repeater. He's 200 suns, so it's the most expensive plant we've seen so far fires two peas at a time. So it's basically like the pea shooter, but it shoots two peas at a time instead of one. Now, it may seem expensive at 200 a pop, but you've seen how quickly I can generate like nine, seven, nine, a thousand sun all at once. So it's it's really, because of that, not that bad. So um, there's really no reason not to spend the extra sun, because I mean, you spend 100 sun on two pea shooters anyway, you spent the same amount of sun to get the same thing, and those are taking up two squares, you know, so we're definitely going to be using those. Those are going to be a staple for us for a while. Um, we'll go with potato mine. Uh, I mean, repeaters are enough offense. That's really all you're going to need. You can just build up a lot of repeaters. Um, but we've got the space, so might as well use walnut and chompers too in case of an emergency, I guess. I mean, repeaters are expensive, so you might want to go for quite a bit of sun. But I think I'll just go with one row here, see how it works out. Should be fine. The thing is, we've got javelin zombies here and bucket heads, which are annoying. So that's why the chompers might be necessary. And again, we can always do the same thing where we can just dig up sunflowers if we need to. It's always good to start off with two rows just in case, you know, you can get your setup up quickly. But anyway, yeah, I just streamed today. I did some uh, Final Fantasy VII and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist, Legacy of the Duelist, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game. It was pretty fun. I'm going to try to stream a lot more lately. I was just talking about it in the other Plants vs. Zombies episode, but um, yeah, kind of want to go for partnership on that. Just, you know, it would be kind of fun. I've always, I've always streamed off and on. I always figured it'd be a good thing to kind of just do, you know on a semi-regular basis. I don't know. Something nice about talking to you guys, you know, straight up. I just hate it, because even now, like, streaming with my computer, it's it's hard on it. I mean, it doesn't have enough USB ports for all the stuff I need to plug in, first of all, and then second of all, it's just slow, you know? Why are all the zombies appearing on the lower rows here? Anyway, here's the repeater. Same thing as a pea shooter, just fires two at a time. So in five shots here, he'll kill the zombie. It's really OP, and he charges really fast. Where's the next zombie gonna come here? There we go. Sometimes it may take you a while to build up 200 sun, but if you got two rows of sunflowers, it really won't. Look at that, by the time it recharged, we're almost ready here. And the thing with them is it's not like pea shooters where you need to set them out a while ahead of time. Like, you'll have enough time to kill these guys easily. And look at that, it's charged. We almost have enough sun again. See, and they shoot so fast, we don't have to worry about getting them out in time here. And here comes the javelin zombie, so let's throw that out there to slow him down, especially because we have nothing on that row. He should get, that potato mine should be up in time. Because we weren't going to have enough sun to get the repeater in time, so you got to think of something ahead of time, you know. All I'm saying is time here, time, time, time. You think this is Plants vs. Zombies too? because it's about time. Literally. So many, just so much wordplay in these games. Oh, I got nothing to put out for this guy, so guess what? He's gonna boost over that, but I ain't gonna do nothing. I can do nothing, buddy. Yeah, usually when there's javelin zombies, I like to set stuff up here early because you want the javelin zombies to use their javelins as much as possible. 
because uh, they travel a lot quicker when they're um, they travel a lot quicker when they're running with their javelin stick. See, the repeaters, they even can take out, just one of them can take out a cone head fairly quick. Okay, I'm going to dig up this potato mine. Nobody's ever going to reach him. That was just in case of emergency. Yeah, even the javelin zombies shouldn't get here in time before the repeaters kill him, even if they're running full speed. Now, the bucket heads, that's a different story. You might need two or three repeaters for those guys. for sure. Now uh, we're going to be about a 15 minutes here. We'll probably end this. Let's throw this out here just, to, just in case. Yeah, we've got enough chompers. And now once again we've got enough sun. Let's try throwing some more repeaters out there. Oh wow, one of them got to the chompers. And that bucket head's coming. That might be a problem. Might have to cherry bomb him if necessary. Just throw that second repeater down there, might help. Okay, there's the first stage of damage. And right before it's going to break, you'll notice his eye will be popping out from under the bucket. There it goes. So that's the final stage of damage before it pops off. We'll just let him eat there for a while. He's going to die. This walnut's almost eaten here, and it's got a bucket head. So we'll just let that happen while he takes damage, and we'll go ahead and do this. Get some more damage going in on him. As you can see, it's starting to get a little more strategic, but not really. But uh, as soon as we get out of World 1 here, we can, they're already starting to throw a lot more zombies at us. Now we've got a cone head behind him that might become an issue. Yeah, I'm start, I start getting a lackadaisical click in the sun when I've got other things on my mind, you know. But you know, worst come to worst, we've got the walnut chomper set up here behind the repeaters, or in front of the repeaters, so it shouldn't ever be an issue. Man, they sure can throw a lot of bucket heads at you. For level 1-9. You know? But the levels will start going slow going here. I can't wait until we get into the next worlds and they start throwing different shit at us. It's gonna be so great. I love it. I love it, man. I love this game. It's so fun. The replayability is just so good. Alright, and this is our full setup. Let's go ahead and stop one of these guys here. And then just, uh... Well, no, we'll leave it, because could be useful. See, and then even if there is a javelin zombie who gets over the walnut, the chomper will eat him immediately. Assuming he's not, uh... See, and there's an uh, example of a potato wine getting eaten before it's good. And just to speed things up, we know we can handle these guys, but I'll use a cherry bomb here on this last thing. See, if we, I wonder if we can get the ten zombies with the cherry bomb achievement. It's a pretty easy one to get if you let them build up, but... I don't know if we can, uh... I don't know if 10 will even show up right here. Oh, well, we killed that one already. Uh, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That was 6 or 7. Yeah, we're going to have to wait till the later levels till there are more. And to really do that, like, there's some plants we can get later on. There's plants that will guide people into uh, rows. What's this? This isn't a plant. Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. Oh, well, thank you, zombies. Man, they've got pretty good grammar, for the most part. Uh, sincerely, you know, great. Anyway, before that all-out attack, we are going to cut the episode. So, in the next episode, we will find out what this all-out attack entails. The final level of World 1. So, see you guys next time on Plants vs. Zombies. Peace out, everybody.